Hello everyone and welcome back to Lewis News, your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. We cover everything from the games, movies and the shows, so if you are interested in that type of content, make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification on so you do not miss any Spider-Man news. So if you're a Spider-Man fan, this is the channel for you. But in today's video, we are going to be covering Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse once again. Like I mentioned in my last video, there is a lot to cover with Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse over the last couple of days. There's been quite a lot of big news that has come out. As we do know, we got the Empire exclusive and Phil Lord and Chris Miller also did an interview where they revealed some pretty crazy stuff and in today's video we are going to be covering the possibility of Tom Holland's Spider-Man from the Marvel Cinematic Universe showing up in Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, so let's talk about it. So during an interview with Empire Magazine, Christopher Miller, one of the producers for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, when asked about the possibility of a live-action Spider-Man showing up in Spider-Man Across or Beyond the Spider-Verse, i.e. Tom Holland's Spider-Man from the MCU, he replied with, anything is possible. And he said, let's say anything is possible in the multiverse. He also then went on to say, the multiverse is big and wide, and all things grow. Why would you think a multiverse, in which many things are possible, that they are not related? I think this is his way of basically saying yes, but also I can't really tell you that he's actually in the movie. So before we talk about the actual possibility of Tom Holland Spider-Man, and to a certain extent, Andrew and Toby also appearing in Across and Beyond the Spider-Verse, let's backtrack a little. So we also do know that Tom Holland was rumored to have a cameo in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. If you guys remember when that movie was coming out, there was rumors that Tom Holland would show as a little cameo at the end of that film. However, that never came to fruition and obviously he never ended up appearing in the movie. Well, the same exact thing is actually happening with Spider-Man across and beyond the Spider-Verse. In fact, there has been multiple rumors, even just a couple of weeks ago, that Andrew and Toby are supposedly meant to get a cameo in one of them two films. And now, obviously, people in interviews with Phil Lord and Chris Miller are asking them, hey, is Tom, Andrew, or Toby going to show up in this film? We've heard the rumors. Are they going to show up? Now, even though Chris Miller here hasn't actually directly said, yes, he is going to appear in the movie, I think with the recent success of Spider-Man No Way Home and the opportunity to throw Tom Holland's Spider-Man into that movie, I am fairly confident as a fan and as a theorist that Tom Holland's Spider-Man will be showing up in at least one of them films. And plus, Across and Beyond the Spider-Verse are a lot different to the first film because the first film was mainly set in the universe of Miles Morales and it pulled in different Spider-Men and women from across the multiverse into that one universe. However, the next two films in the franchise are different in many ways. We know in Across the Spider-Verse, as the name suggests, Yes, they will be going across the Spider-Verse, quite literally. It has also been revealed recently that this film has six main dominant art styles, which suggests to me that they are going to be traveling to six main universes across the Spider-Verse. So couple that with the opportunity and the rumors and the speculation and what Chris Miller just said, I think that Tom Holland or the MCU could be one of those universes that Miles Morales and the gang end up visiting in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And like I said, since they're going across the multiverse in this film, there is more of a chance that we are going to come across one of the live-action Spider-Men. But obviously, when it comes to the rumors, make sure to take them with a grain of salt, because as I always do say with rumors, they have not come from anyone official. It hasn't come from Marvel. It hasn't come from Sony Pictures. So make sure you do take them with a grain of salt. But obviously, this isn't just a theory or a speculation or just a rumor. This is an interview with Chris Miller and Phil Lord, two producers on Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So now, coupled with the rumors and coupled with the recent speculation and all the evidence that we already have, I think we have a pretty strong case to tell us that Tom Holland will be showing up in Spider-Man Across or Beyond the Spider-Verse. But I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you think about this interview and do you think Tom Holland will be showing up in Spider-Man Across or Beyond the Spider-Verse? And also, why not tell me if you think Andrew and Toby will show up as well? I want to know all of your thoughts. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. Like I did say, we cover all types of Spider-Man news on the channel. Let's try and get to 500 subscribers. That would be absolutely awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.